What's up guys? Chris we are here. Today we're going to be making a chase game. So a chase game is basically where you have a sprite and you control it with your arrow keys. And there's another sprite like that, like a collectible sprite that you have to make your controlling sprite um, collect that uh, other collectible sprite. So let's get started on making our controller sprite. So let's delete this cat sprite. And now let's choose a sprite. So let's choose the cat flying because the controlling sprite is going to move all around the screen. So now we want to control our sprite. So we want to add a one flag clicked forever if then. And then go to sensing if key right arrow pressed. We're gonna duplicate this. Put this into here and duplicate this because we're gonna use the up arrow, down arrow, and the left key. So let's choose left for this one, up arrow, and down arrow. So we want our sprite to move when we click the arrow key so we're gonna go to motions and we're gonna say change x by 10 duplicate this and change x by a negative 10 and add a change y for the up arrow and then duplicate this and a negative 10 for the down arrow so now let's see how it goes So we can now control our controlling sprite. So that's great. So now we want to add a, a collectible sprite. So we're going to choose another sprite. Let's click on, let's see the fantasy. Let's choose the crystal. Set it to crystal B. We're going to go to one flag clicked forever so in the chat so you want our forever collectible sprite we want it to move all around the screen like so we're gonna add a go to a random position and then we're gonna add a wait one second because it's gonna keep on going to a random position if it goes to one position then it's gonna go right away way to another position we wanted to wait at that position and then go so now let's see how it goes so our collectible sprite goes to a random position so that's great but now we want to make our controlling sprite do something if it catches the collectible sprite so we're gonna duplicate this and then we're going to remove all of these three if statements. We're going to remove the key pressed. And we're going to add a touching block and set it to crystal. So let's remove this. And let's make it play sound. Let's choose a sound instead of a pop. So let's go to effects. <laughs> Let's do the collect. So play sound collect until done. So let's see how it goes. Oh. So now our controlling sprite plays it does something if it touches the crystal so that's great but now we want to add score variables so we're gonna go to variables let's make a variable saying score we're gonna add a set the score variable to zero and let's add a change score variable by one so let's show the score variable and now 
Let's set it to larger readout. So now let's see how it goes. So we have our score now and we have our controlling sprite and the collectible sprite. So that's basically today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and send a comment down below on what you would like to learn in future videos. Hit the thumbs up and have a nice